दोस्तों इस पर्टिकुलर क्लास के अंदर हम बात करने वाले हैं ट्रू ब्रेकआउट की और फेक ब्रेकआउट की दोस्तों मेरा यकीन मानना ये सबसे पावरफुल क्लास होने वाली है तो मैं ऐसे ऐसे दोस्तों मेरे पे टेस्टिंग होने लाते हैं लोगों को पूरी जीवन बदल चुका है गाइस नौकरी छोड़ दी दोस्तों इस स्ट्रेटेजी को यूज करने के बाद Guys, welcome back to my channel Trade with Saint. My dear friends, in this video, I am going to teach you the candlestick patterns which will help you make crazy, super cool profits in trading. Okay, so my dear friends, these are few very powerful candlestick patterns. This was basically my class, a live teaching to my students. Guys, you already know I have taught more than one thousand students. Hundred percent positive feedback, life changing program, highest rated in the forex industry. Also available in Hindi now, which you have already seen uh, in the start of this video. So, guys, let's start without much ado. Let's now just remember one thing whenever there is a significant downtrend now what is significant downtrend and what is a downtrend three candles down and price continued uptrend <laughs> so that was a you know downtrend for a short term or if you switch to a lower time frame there you can see it as a big you know a downward movement but when i say significant downtrend just remember i'm talking about a downtrend ongoing downtrend on a higher time frame like h1 h4 with my system the maximum you have to see is t1 you don't need to see monthly chart you don't need to see the weekly chart but with the same knowledge you will be able to make the investment decisions and have some multi bagger sort of returns with the same knowledge once you apply it on a monthly chart you will be able to find these stocks uh, the long term movements and you can also take advantage of it using the same concept but for the time being as far as trading frequent trading is concerned uh, these are the main time frames you are going to use okay getting my point and sometimes the d1 okay so once you see a significant downtrend and if you see a candlestick pattern like this just give me uh, a minute so is everyone awake everyone is still awake <laughs> okay so once you see a candlestick pattern like this remember one thing candlestick patterns are of two types one and two guys make notes believe me you have to revise these notes before you uh, comes back the next weekend one is called single candle pattern what is this a single candle so this is a single candle pattern this one shooting star okay these are single candlestick pattern second type is called multiple candles pattern what is a multiple candles when a pattern is made up of at least two candles it is called a multiple candlestick pattern like bearish engulfing bullish engulfing morning star evening star getting my point okay cup and handle flag multiple candles are forming a pattern okay so once you see after a significant downtrend a candle like this which is called a hammer expect a reversal to the upside how you can take advantage of this okay seed very good theoretical knowledge how can i make money that is something important okay once you see a candlestick pattern like hammer once it closes you can create your entry this is going to be your strike rate you are not going to keep your sl just two pips below it keep a buffer from the general public which i will teach you how to have a perfect sl compared to general public you have to keep your sl few additional pips give at least few a little a little more you know buffer okay and then what is going to be your take profit the swing high the previous swing high will act as your take profit seems very basic stuff but this basic stuff will lead to lot of profit making in the next year for the years to come previous swing high will be taken as a take profit getting my point what if it creates a lower high you will find out how because i'm going to teach you okay okay similarly once you see a significant uptrend and you see a pattern like this which is called you know shooting star i think i'm not very sure of the names 
because names are general knowledge and we are here for a specialized knowledge. So I think they call it shooting star. Whenever you see it, you can simply see here, you can see that the prices were in control of sellers because when it's a downtrend, you see more red candles compared to green candles. If green candle forms in a downtrend, they are most often small body size green candles, kind of a profit booking uh, candles only, not uh, trend changing candles like uh, sometimes, you know, a bullish engulfing. You will see them only when the trend is about to change uh, or else you will see a small green candles in the downtrend. Similarly, in case of uptrend, you will see more green candles than red candle. And if the red candle forms, they will most probably be the small body size red candle, which is nothing but a profit booking by those holding long positions. Okay. I have a perfect strategy with them. I'll tell you uh, after some moments. Okay. So once you see this, you can see uh, here, sellers were in control. All of a sudden, you can see a long price rejection. That means the buyers have now won the control from the sellers. And now the buyers are more powerful than sellers. And if the buyers are more powerful than sellers, buyers make money by taking the price higher because they buy at the low prices and they have to square off position at higher prices. So price will go up once this candle forms. Now you can uh, write down separate thing called price action hacks. There in point number one, write down, even if the hammer forms like this called inverted hammer, point to be noted, only after significant downtrend is this valid. You will see the next green candle, a strong next green candle. Now you can also do binary trading with the information that I'm going to give you in this second class. It can be used for binary trading. You can start with a small amount, use the risk management, try to grow it larger, keep withdrawing from the binary broker timely. Okay. The next candle will, in most of the cases, around 90% of the cases will open, will close as a green candle. And if this happens at the support zone, demand zone, DZ, in short, just remember all of these uh, short, uh, I don't know what exactly, just remember DZ for the demand zone, FP for the fake breakout, TB for the true breakout, okay? So if this happens at the demand zone, your accuracy will enhance from 90 to 95% of a green candle to form. You can use the concept in binary trading as well, okay? So what will happen, guys, is that the price will go up the same way as they go up after hammer formation, okay? This is something very rarely anyone knows. So these are hacks, basically. Can be used for binary trading, can also be used for Forex trading, for an example. If you remember my gold trade, what happened? We saw this forming where? At the zone. And when it formed at the zone and the gold was falling and on the daily time frame, you will expect the same green candle on once the day ends. How much pips were those? Around 150 to 200. Okay, so you can use the same concept on forex trading as well. The thing is, you practice because I am going to give assignments. I'm going to give you homework for the entire week. All of you have to do that homework if you want to achieve the real objective, which is to stand at my level or to be as accurate as I am. I'm sure that is uh, what propelled you for joining the live class, okay? So similarly, when there is a significant uptrend where you see more green candles compared to the red candles, to the short red candles, and if you see the inverted hammer like this after a significant uptrend and significant uptrend means uptrend at least on H1 or the H4 or both combined called multiple time frame analysis. Okay. And if you see this, then you expect a downtrend to occur. Now, write down the price, ex price action hack number two called kangaroo tail. If you remember in my course called 2.0, 1.0, there used to be a strategy called kangaroo tail strategy, which is not part of 3.0. It's, it's actually a price action hack. If rather than you see the candle like this, if you see rather a long price ejection and a candle like this, 
a long price rejection and a candle like this just uh, just give me a minute okay let's start if you see a candle like this candle like this or if you see a candle like this with a very you know very small very minute body while a long price rejection you call it a kangaroo tail so if kangaroo pushes puts the pressure on the ground it jumps upwards right similarly when you see a kangaroo tail and there is a price rejection from the upside you expect the next candle to go down in the total opposite direction now you can use this price rejection hack for binary trading as well or you can use this for forex trading as well considering you have at least h1 as a time frame okay whatever so you expect at least one candle to close as red and if kangaroo tail occurs similarly like inverted hammer if this occurs after a significant uptrend you expect a change of trend that means you expect a downtrend okay now in single candlestick pattern the pattern which i see and i'm teaching you is hammer inverted hammer okay and kangaroo tail okay i'm erasing it if anyone wants to take a photo he can take a photo now let me see let me see let me see i'm wide awake <laughs> i'm writing can you repeat this sit uh, okay helena repeat about the kangaroo tail yes okay sure so let me just erase first of all okay so let's talk about kangaroo tail once again if you see a long price rejection like this okay you call it i think gravestone doji name does not makes money once again if you see a long price rejection like this if you see a long price rejection like this and a very small body and if this occurs after a significant uptrend significant uptrend significant uptrend if you want to use the concept for the binary trading expect the next candle to close as red candle if you see this thing on 5 minutes time frame you have to take a 5 minutes expiry you see at 5 minutes take a 5 minutes expiry you see at h1 take a 60 minutes expiry expect the closing price of the next candle is going to be lower than the lower than the closing price of kangaroo tail okay if this occurs after a significant uptrend expect a downtrend expect a downtrend expect a downtrend expect a downtrend now in single candlestick got it okay very good helena guys ask question as much question you can ask teaching is my passion trading is my passion both fused become super passion <laughs> so i can even teach people for 5 6 hours continuous okay so in single candlestick pattern the important one that you have to see is hammer after a downtrend hammer inverted hammer after a downtrend and after uptrend you have to look for a shooting star pattern which is again uh, inverted hammer but after uptrend okay or you have to look for the kangaroo tail okay the kangaroo tail can form after uptrend leading to the downtrend kangaroo tail can also occur after the downtrend leading to the uptrend okay now what is uh, a thing that is common about all of these uh, candlestick uh, patterns is all of these candlestick patterns will lead to change in trend downtrend to uptrend uptrend to downtrend are we clear up until this point are we very clear about all of this stuff that we have seen till now any questions okay clear 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 okay charisa are you there everything is clear any question still not clear on kangaroo tail okay see let me just clear all the drawings okay i'll explain you everything about a kangaroo tail can you see what is the name of this pattern inverted hammer okay 
inverted hammer will lead to change in trend if inverted hammer occurs after the uptrend it will lead to cherisy it will lead to you can speak also cherisy you can unmute yourself and can speak if the it will lead to a downtrend downtrend exactly and what if it occurs after the downtrend if we see the inverted hammer after the downtrend what will happen go to the uptrend go to the uptrend okay or at least the next candle will go up concept can be used in binary trading as well okay so now let's talk about the kangaroo tail see this inverted hammer cherry c is also a type of kangaroo tail because if you see here if you notice it also has a small real body now there is no standard definition of a kangaroo tail see small real body long price rejection long price rejection small body this also comes into the category of a kangaroo tail now this is the reason the next candle will go down now this is the reason the trend will change the inverted hammer is also a kangaroo tail a type of kangaroo tail now why you are a bit confused about the kangaroo tail because kangaroo tail is not the term which is frequently seen on the internet you will see mostly the terms like uh, gravestone doji like they call it i think gravestone doji right so gravestone doji they will call it a shooting star so they will use those fancy names and uh, we call kangaroo tail especially when we see real body is either minute okay and long price rejection or a very small body and a long price rejection that comes into the category of a kangaroo tail name does not makes money once again if that happens what is occurring here actually you see in an uptrend you see more green candles than the red candles right and if the red candle occurs they are you know like this small ones small ones basically kind of profit booking after big big you know green candles you see the small red candles right they are kind of a profit booking candles okay occurring so mostly you will see the green candles when there is an uptrend okay so we are taking example of an uptrend okay so what happens is that buyers are in control of prices how buyers make money buyers make money by buying low and selling at a high price let's say you go to the market to buy a lipstick and let's say it cost 10 dollars and then you comes back and your neighbor uh, likes it and you sells at 12 dollars to her so you make a profit of 2 dollars so what you did you bought at a lower price and you sold at a higher price so you were a buyer so how buyer made his money or her money by buying low and selling higher so they are buying 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 prices are pushing higher 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 due to the buying some of them are booking profit for profit booking they have to place sell orders and you will see the small red candles okay so prices are in total control of buyers what happens to your surprise is that sellers took control from the buyers buyers tried their best to take the prices higher but sellers are now becoming so powerful that they dragged the price lower thereby closing the price exactly at where it opened okay sellers even took prices bit below but buyers had little strength and they also brought price here okay exactly the same candle but what do we have to understand here is that now sellers are more powerful than buyers how sellers make money how sellers make money by selling at high price and buying back at lower price i gave you example once again the lipstick example i give you once again you were about to leave for the market and your neighbor came and she said are you going to the market you said yes can you please buy me that brand lipstick i came to know that it's really good or by the way how much i have to pay you and you already knew that it cost 10 dollar but she does not know so you charge 12 dollars so you already sold high before buying then you went to the superstore and bought it at 10 dollar thereby making the profit of 2 dollar 
and then you bought at ten dollar. You went there. You already took the twelve dollar. You you sold higher, and you bought at a lower price, keeping two dollars in your pocket, and you went back to your home and gave her the lipstick. So what sellers are doing? They are selling at higher prices and squaring off their position at a lower prices, thereby making a profit. The same thing. You just understand the psychology behind the formation of a candle. We then don't need to remember the names. We don't need to remember uh, like. We don't need to remember anything. We just understand from the kind of price ejection. Okay, so low price ejection. That means the buyers are now not as capable as they were to drag the prices higher. Seems the sellers have taken control, and now since the sellers have taken control, the sellers make their money by dragging the price to the downside. So if this occurs, expect a downtrend. If this occurs. Long price ejection, small real body, color does not matter. Be it red, be it green, the prices will fall. Are we clear now? Even if you have questions, ask it. Ask it's a live class. What about others? Abdul, Mayank, Helena, are we clear? Yes. Okay. Charisi, you tell me now. Yes, sir. It's clear. Okay. Helena, clear. Charisi, what about you? you? Still have question? Ask me. Yes, that's clear. Um, I just wanted to ask about some of the stuff you went over earlier, but mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's clear now. That's clear now. Okay. So, do you still have more questions about this topic or for some other topics? Not this, but like when you were talking about the trade too, like I was just wondering, like you know how you you had your stop loss really wide, so if you could go back over that at some point. Sure, do one thing, Charisi, just write down your question and also let me know which particular trade are we talking about, okay? Mm -hmm. So then I'll go back and explain, okay? Okay. See, the more you ask, the more powerful you become. So asking question is very important. I really like people who ask questions, okay? So just uh, never shy away from asking questions, okay? You can ask as much questions as you want, okay? So guys, now time for us to move to the multi candlestick patterns. Okay, so we have already talked about the single candlestick pattern and these are the patterns which I actually see. And why they are so important? Because in trading, there's no, uh, you know, a single parameter that leads to high accuracy. You have to fuse the things together. What does that mean? It means this. You go to the currency strength meter, which I will teach you how to find the forex signals quickly. And you see USD is so weak. USD is so weak. And since USD is weak and gold is inversely proportional with the dollar, that means the gold will go up. Now, this is something fundamental. Okay, one parameter. Second parameter, you go to the H1 chart of the gold and you realize, wow, on H4, there's an uptrend. And if on H4, there's an uptrend, and since I want to make money the same day itself as an intraday trader, I'm going to trade on the basis of H1. You went to the H1 and you realize this, that the uptrend is going on. And after a pullback, you see a candle like this. Okay. Parameter number two. Third thing, you realize that previous Swing high and this one is coinciding at a very important demand zone. Parameter number three. Three parameters fused together. Now you have decided to take a long position. So in trading, every single thing matters. Every single thing matters. When they are fused together, they will lead to the success. And if you fail, we are going to see that in the class called trading journal where we have to maintain records to stop repeating the errors and keep repeating the right things, okay? So what will happen now, you will take a trade. This is going to be a strike rate. You're going to keep yourself few pips below it, okay? We are not expecting 100% accuracy once again. You can keep previous swing high as you take profit. If you feel like, oh, risk reward ratio is poor, okay? Then what you can do, you can find out the next available major support based on H4, and that is going to be your take profit. And this time, risk to reward ratio is more than one is to two, as you can clearly see. So this is how you find a trade. Now, the question is, what if it goes wrong? <laughs> 
see if it has to go wrong it will go wrong anyhow we are not here to win every single trade three parameters strong has given long positions indication you have to enter okay especially if you see no high impactful news is there so you enter it and if you keep taking trades based on these confirmations together and if you enter the 10 such trades even if you win the five or the four you will be making profits getting my point but are you going to win only 40 percent i don't think so after completing this entire live trading you will win at least eight trades out of ten if not nine nine also you can win but that requires uh, efforts from your end also okay so you have to practice you have to find out you have to ask questions you have to come with the doubts you have to get those doubts clarified you have to maintain trading journals if you do all that you can also achieve nine out of ten accuracy will it be maintained every single month of course not market structure keeps on changing the market works in three phases trendy market which is my favorite i'm sure yours favorite too a market where prices are stuck december's market july's market okay so market works in phases if you say hey see i was winning nine trades out of ten in fab in march in april in may i'm not doing that well in july the problem is you're uh, calculating your performance on short-term basis you should have a long-term view the same way you won four trades out of ten in let's say this week and you did well the same way you have to think uh, in terms of months as well if you have performed 10 months very well and two months badly that does not make you a bad trader so many people send me message oh said i'm not doing well i used to do well uh, like vedant he was sending message sir recently my trades are not going well i said this is the reason i'm not sending signals in the month of december because i know that the technical principles won't be followed because it requires trendy market or it at least requires a lot of volume a dead market you cannot expect movements there will be volatility, you know, small price movements. Okay. So we cannot expect the price to, you know, go with the speed towards a take profit. So, you know, month wise also things changes a bit. The main thing is you are keep on updating and learning and you are just repeating what works and stop repeating what does not work. For that, you require a trading journal. And in this live class also, one of the class will be about trading journals only, okay? Let's move to the multiple candlestick patterns. I just remove all of these. So we have a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern. Then we have a bearish engulfing pattern, which is just total opposite. And there are so many patterns, guys, so many patterns, so many names. But I'm going to only teach you the ones I personally feel are powerful, okay? For example, bullish piercing, bearish piercing, total bullshit. If that occurs, don't take a trade just on the basis of piercing. Okay. Piercing is when, uh, you know, there is an engulfing, but uh, just 50% or a bit more. We are not going to take a trade on the basis of that. Unless until there's complete engulfing, that means a complete, uh, you know, change of hands, uh, like, Power is changing from the seller to the buyer now. Then only we are going to take a long position. Okay, so we're going to only talk about the ones which are powerful. We are not going to waste our time. So we're going to talk about bullish engulfing. We're going to talk about bearish engulfing. We're going to talk about my favorite pattern called morning star pattern and evening star pattern. Very powerful patterns. You can literally take trade just on the basis of this single trade, single pattern, and yet you will be have more than 50, 60% accuracy. If your risk to reward ratio is good, you will come out to be profitable just with morning star and evening star. I will also tell you how you can utilize uh, morning star, evening star, and engulfing patterns for the binary trading. So what I'm going to teach you will also help you in binary trading. Okay. So let's continue. And once I complete this, we will end our second class. And the third class, I'll give you the timing for the third class. Okay. <clears throat> let's start. Let's talk about bearish engulfing first hope we are not feeling bored significant downtrend is going on significant downtrend is going on who is in control in the downtrend tell me everyone uh, abdul helena cherisi mayank 
tell me when the significant downtrend is going on who is in the control power is in the hand of whom sellers or the buyers very good very good abdul very good helena mayank good sellers are in control okay all of a sudden we see a strong green candle which has completely engulfed the previous red candle and by the way red candles form more than green candles in the downtrend what does it signifies sellers downtrend buyer perfect there is very good okay so now the buyers have taken control right now the buyers have taken control from the sellers sellers were more powerful than buyers till now everyone everyone was looking for the sell this was the close price of the previous candle this was the opening price of the previous candle and there was one high point and there was one low point and all of a sudden you see the gap down opening sellers were very very happy gap down yay we are going in the right direction we will drag the price down but boom price went up and close higher than the opening price thereby completely engulfing the previous candle previously just a second so guys you can see that this green candle has completely engulfed the previous red candle your question here which you have not asked okay <laughs> your question here should be shall we only look after the body engulfing or should we also consider the wicks engulfing the wicks so answer is only the body <clears throat> wicks are the panic areas we have nothing to do with the wicks only the body of the green candle should completely engulf the body of the red candle <coughs> okay students so let's continue so here you can see the buyers have taken control from the sellers so there is change in the hands right power changed so now when the buyers have taken control where the prices would go the prices will go higher okay now the trend will change and the prices are expected to go higher if we want to do only the binary trading expect the next candle to close as a green candle though i'm using the red color but expect the next candle to close as a green candle okay so you can use the concept in binary trading as well but whenever there is a bullish engulfing you expect the trend to change okay now this is something which i am telling you as a theory but there is a catch if you see this happening in a pair which is in downtrend on a higher time frame as well just avoid taking a buy entry okay still look for the sell unless until you see a complete change in structure what is a complete change in structure if after this you see the pattern called bullish engulfing and then you start noting the change of structure that means you are observing the higher lows and higher highs that means the structure is actually changing now it's time that you you should start looking for buy opportunities from the sell opportunities for example if this is happening on h1 okay at the same time h4 is also in a downtrend if i were you i would avoid taking a buy entry okay now vice versa with the bearish engulfing let me just erase okay so when you see a significant uptrend and then lot of green candles are in formation because buyers are more powerful than sellers but to your surprise you see a gap up opening and the buyers are very happy yeah we are taking the prices in the right direction but prices close lower opening price is higher than close price close price is less than opening price and this red candle is completely engulfing the previous green candle now only body matters wicks are not important okay now you can see the sellers have taken control from the buyers and if the sellers have taken control from the buyers expect the next candle to close as a red candle you can use this concept as a hack for binary trading or else for the forex trading you expect the prices to crash after the formation of a bearish engulfing candle but if the h1 trend is up 
H4 trend is up, I suggest you to not take a sell entry just on the basis of a pattern unless until there are multiple factors to it. If there is a strong, what are the multiple factors? If there is a strong supply zone here and then you are seeing a bearish engulfing and you observe that we have a previous swing low area here and I can take a quick 30, 40 pips. Okay, go ahead, take 30, 40 pips. <coughs> but if you have more better setups, more better opportunity aligning with the major trend, go for that. That is what we are going to see in the subsequent classes. Okay, because these are small points, but these are really, really important, which will, you know, actually lead to the success in trading. Okay. Now, the last thing that we are going to cover in this second class in the pattern called morning star and the evening star really really important pattern okay and if you ask me Sid, what if i want to take a sell trade on the basis of let's say bearish engulfing said how can i take it i suggest you to take a half lot here and wait for the prices to retest the zone to take the unfilled unfulfilled orders okay so 50% entry you can do here, 50% entry you can do here and just keep your SL few pips above the zone and select the nearest possible take profit, not the next available zone because next available zone is long way. For prices to reach there, there must be a short, short downtrend. And if you are doing the counter trend trading, if you're fighting the major trend, then go for the shortest take profit possible. Do not try to, you know, Catch an elephant when you can easily catch a rabbit. Try to catch a rabbit if you're fighting the trend. Are we clear about it? Are we clear? Let's talk about the last patterns of the second class. Okay. So guys, when you see the significant downtrend going on, and then you see the red candle, which is nothing to surprise because red candles keep on forming in the downtrend. Nothing to surprise. But then you see, you see the gap down opening and an equal fight among the buyers and sellers. Here, who is powerful? Sellers. Here, what's happening? Powers become equal. Here, who is powerful? Buyers. So what is this? Change of power. Who is now powerful? Who is the boss? Buyers. If buyers are the boss, where the prices should go? To the upside. How to trade? Enter here. Keep SL few pips below the doji candle. <coughs> okay. Not necessarily the doji candle. It's called morning doji star pattern. But not necessarily the doji. It can be also a candle with a body. The important thing is red candle, gap down opening then a gap up opening and green candle. If it's doji, if it has a body, it doesn't matter. But this is how you find out a morning star pattern. It should be occurring after the downtrend. And then only you expect the uptrend to start. It has a very good accuracy, but if it occurs at an important zone, important demand zone, D, Z, then you should go for the long side position because now you have two parameters fused and if news or the expected data also favors the pair third parameter is involved okay clear when multiple confirmations fuse that is the best trade to take now the vice versa of morning star is called the evening star pattern what happens in the evening star this is what happens significant uptrend going on okay then a green candle forms nothing new it, it's normal it's normal right then you see a gap up opening and you see a doji or a normal candle whatever in most cases doji and then you see the gap down opening and the red candle but does it signifies <coughs> Buyers are in control, more powerful than sellers. Strength becomes equal. That means sellers are now gaining the momentum. 
gap down opening how come means sellers have taken control for buyers to make money the price should gap up gap up gap up gap up but in an uptrend and after a gap up you see a gap down it's something that notifies that the sellers have now taken the control so sellers are the boss now if sellers are the boss what is this complete change of power if this occurs the prices will ultimately fall down the prices will ultimately crash now sir how can i utilize these hacks for the binary trading